digestive system. Around five grams of glutamine powder a day for all digestive problems. I'd rather, uh, I prefer using the, the glutamine powder than the glutamine capsules or tablets. A, a whey protein, by the way, can be wonderful for the digestive system if he does not have any issues with whey. Whey also contains glutamine. Use the digestive enzymes. Use apple cider vinegar. You may benefit or he may benefit by using lecithin after meals. If you want something topical, try a, you can try zinc oxide, topical zinc oxide, which has some antibacterial or antifungal properties. In the mouth, it's going to be a little bit difficult. For lichen planus on the skin, zinc oxide can sometimes help. In the mouth, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to work topically. So you're going to be stuck using some uh, using internal nutrition. Selenium can upregulate the body's immune system. 200 to 600 micrograms of selenium might be helpful. And, of course, don't forget about good old vitamin C, tremendously important for all infections, all uh, inflammatory conditions, all immune problems, around 5,000 to 10,000 milligrams a day. Uh, you'll get some of the beyond, uh, some of the vitamin C and the beyond tangy tangerine as well, some selenium and B-complex. Uh, and then last but most certainly not least, N-acetylcysteine for all immune issues, all uh, toxicity in the body. N-acetylcysteine upregulates the body's ability to clear itself out uh, around 500 milligrams, anywhere from 100 to 500 milligrams a day of NAC may be helpful for you. Thanks so much for your call, Mary. Hope that helped you out. And uh, personally, if it was me, Mary, I wouldn't go near a steroid drug. Uh, you're going to run risks of further suppression of uh, digestive health as well as further breakdown of the immune system, or your son will, by staying on a steroid drug. What did they give him, by the way, Mary? Um, it's a topical steroid. He is just starting on it. Is it Kenalog? Did they call it Kenalog or... Um, I'm not sure of the name of it. Wait, topical steroid to put in his mouth? Right, yeah. Well, of course, it's not just topical. If he's putting it in his mouth, he's going to be swallowing it, and he's going to be getting systemic effects from that steroid as well. So personally, I would lay off the steroid, save your money on the steroid, get him on a good nutritional supplement program, and keep your eyes on his, or have him keep his eyes on his digestive uh, digestive symptoms and the fact that he noticed improvement by staying off of the off of the uh, cheese or laying off the cheese is a really good sign. shows he's on the right track. Thanks for your call, Mary. hope he helped you out. All right, uh, Marietta in Missouri, what is up? Hi. Uh, thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's going on? Um, well, I have I have a goiter, and it's not growing, but it's it's growing down behind my chest wall. Uh, yeah, that's not good, my dear. Uh, Marietta, uh, goiter is a sign that the thyroid is working overtime to try to find iodine. Uh, get yourself on iodorol first and foremost, or some source of iodine. It's funny because in Missouri and in the middle part of it, it's not funny, but it's interesting, in the middle part of the country, iodine deficiencies are somewhat rampant. So you want to make sure that you're getting enough uh, seafood or iodine-containing foods. Uh, by the way, iodine, if you've got a goiter and you're deficient in iodine, you're also running higher risks for other iodine deficiency issues like cancer and glandular problems. So iodine is super important, very important for women's health, women's health issues, uh, iodine is. I'd be uh, using 12.5 milligrams of iodorol a day. Make sure you're on the B vitamins. All thyroid issues have a digestive component either before the thyroid issue or after the thyroid issue or both. In other words, digestive issues can cause problems with the thyroid and once the thyroid starts to slow down, that can cause further digestive issues which of course will compromise the thyroid uh, even more, which will cause more digestive issues and you end up with this downward spiral, this vicious cycle. So focusing on digestive wellness is very important. Thyroid hormone is activated at least partially in the digestive digestive tract. So if you have any issues with the digestive tract, any small intestine issues, absorption issues, that's going to compromise your ability to uh, maximize thyroid health. Uh, focus on digestive wellness. Once again, probiotics, good bacteria, glutamine powder, digestive enzymes. Mary, do you know about any digestive issues? Well, you must know you have some digestive issues. I'm not even going to ask you that. Focus on food intolerances, specific foods that have uh, that have uh, that cause digestive symptoms. There's also uh, certain foods that will shut down the thyroid. They call them goitrogenic foods, and these are foods that will actually cause a goiter. Soy is a big-time goitrogenic food. Be very careful of all soy, uh, all soy and soy-containing foods. Broccoli and what they call the cruciferous vegetables, kale, 
cabbage, uh, cauliflower, broccoli, bok choy. These cruciferous vegetables are also well-known goitrogenic foods. They can induce goiters. If you like broccoli and you like Brussels sprouts, and there's certainly some, a, a lot of good stuff in, in the cruciferous vegetables, cook them a little bit or steam them a little bit, and that can help, uh, uh, help improve their goitrogenic effects. You get less goitrogenic effects once you steam your cruciferous vegetables. Uh, the B vitamins are also very important for the thyroid. The mineral selenium is very, very important for thyroid health and very underappreciated when it comes to taking care of your thyroid. I'd be using the OPC selenium, uh, or I'm sorry, the ultimate selenium product from Longevity, maybe 400 to 600 micrograms a day. A lot you could do for the thyroid. Also, keep in mind that when you're under a, uh, a lot of stress, either psychological stress or mental stress or emotional stress or physical stress, and your adrenal glands are kicking in to get you out of that stressful situation, over time the thyroid will slow down secondary or in response to that adrenal activity. So practicing your deep breathing techniques, making sure you're relaxing, making sure you're getting enough sleep, maybe using some melatonin on a regular basis, all those can help with the thyroid. All right, Marietta, thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. Let's see if we can get one more call. Leanne in California, uh, real quick, what's going on, girl? I've uh, just been suffering from um, a hiatal hernia. And okay. Doctor, doctor, surgery. Okay. Okay. Hiatal hernia is a breakdown in the uh, in the uh, connective tissue of the diaphragm. The stomach sticks through the diaphragm, secondary to that breakdown. Treat a hiatal hernia as if it was a breakdown of the body. The body's connective tissue is starting to break down. Lots of ways you can take care of that using cartilage, uh, using the uh, bone soup, using the glucosamine or the glucogel caps, making sure you're getting enough protein, and always take vitamin C with the glucogel caps. By the way, they work together, and then. And uh, last but not least, chiropractors can sometimes do manipulations to help improve hiatal hernias. Thank you so much for your call. That's all we got time for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about how important the sun is for improving serotonin effects as we continue discussing SSRIs and ways to beef up your own serotonin production. Stay tuned for Alex Jones next. On most of these stations, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now. Hey everyone, have you heard about the No No Hair Removal Device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host, Cheryl, for No No Hair Removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my No No. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No No Hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com. Or-